Um, I want to call on people in the middle. Okay, yeah. Which was what? Out of all the movies? Despicable Me 1 was pretty fun. That was really fun. You know, it's... A lot of scripts we've written that haven't gotten made we really loved. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. One thing that was really, really cool that we got to do in our career was for Horton Hears a Who and for the Lorax, we had to go through the, the Seuss estate, you know, because Dr. Seuss wrote the books and his wife is now in charge of all of... Mrs. Seuss. Mrs. Seuss is in charge of all of his things. So to get those jobs and throughout the process of writing those scripts, we went to San Diego, down by San Diego where she lives, and we actually had meetings with Mrs. Seuss in Dr. Seuss's house. Yeah. And so you walk in, and his artwork is all over the walls, his hand-drawn pictures. The desk where he wrote it. Yeah, you, you look on the wall, yeah. and there's a, a piece of wood on the wall, and it's sort of like, well, what's that piece of wood? It's all chipped and marked up. And that was the desktop that he drew and wrote all the books on. It was like... It's right there. Like every Dr. Seuss book was created right on that desk. So that was a really cool experience. We love Dr. Seuss. We're huge fans. Yes. Um, I'll pick someone over here. Yes. You gotta go in the middle. I can't see the middle. Hey, did you already ask a question? Yes. You're out. Get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> go ahead. How do you get the idea of Victor? Oh, Victor. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a fun. We just we knew he needed this nemesis, and he just kind of evolved into this nerdy. We just wanted obnoxious. to make this, yeah, sort of. We wanted it to be a contrast with Gru, which Gru is sort of an old school villain. So we thought, let's do a new, a new school villain, and basically make him Bill Gates. So he's Vector is Bill Gates as a villain. Yeah. yeah. Go in the